there's obviously one big thing looming over me, which is trying to win the Ironman World Championships in Kona. We've always used Lanzarote as our Kona camp because a lot of the elements are very similar to Hawaii. So it's super windy here. It's very hot and actually over the years, it's become more of a humid heat than it used to be. So it actually prepares you perfectly for Kona, whether you're training indoors or headed outdoors, but it does just make you a stronger athlete. When we last met, I was leading into my first Ironman World Championship as a professional and now I've got three second place finishes in Kona. I've got a 70.3 world title to my name and not that any of that really has changed who I am as a person, but I guess I go into races now and I'm not kind of the underdog. I guess people are looking out for where I am in the race and they definitely want to beat me. So I feel like I have more of a target on my back now. I need to have won that race in the next five years because <laughs> I'm not going to know when to stop otherwise. I basically had nailed the session. I only had like 11 reps left and my iPad was sat in the sun and it overheated and I lost it. I was like, this is not happening. Like my whole ride's gonna be deleted. Like I'm not doing this. So Reese put my iPad in the fridge and he was like, just spin easy for five minutes and we'll see what happens. And he got it out of the fridge and it had cooled down and my session was still going. Thank God, I don't need to kill anyone today. <laughs> and I completed it, it was like five hours on Swift. If it doesn't save, it doesn't count. Luckily, even if your iPad overheats, put it in the fridge and Swift keeps going. <laughs> it's all about Lola. It's all about earning money to pay for Lola and her treats. Right, where am I going to ride today? Flora Duffy's on today. Going to ride with her and go to Watopia. She's heading to Slovakia as well, so. That'll be cool. With all of my training, I always try and add an element of fun. I think that's why I've always liked Zwift because it makes my training indoors more fun. And indoor training has played a huge part in my success in triathlon because it just allowed me to do that hard work, particularly in the beginning where I didn't have a background in cycling. So I just needed to do the work and kind of get the hours in. And they say that it takes something like 10,000 hours of work before you're good at something. Having Zwift just allowed me to just put those hours in and get such a solid base of work. I do feel like I have gone a bit mad and done every single route and every single challenge and had to tick them all off. I pretty much use every element of Zwift. If I've got, say, a 45 minute hard workout, I'd probably rather just go and do a race and get some more out of myself. But equally, when I've got very structured planned workouts, I find them super easy to follow on there. In March this year, I was diagnosed with a stress fracture in my left femoral neck, which I was on crutches for nearly six weeks. The hardest point was obviously hearing that I needed to take such a long rest, knowing that I was gonna miss out on quite a few major goals that I had for the year. Maybe people had missed me on Zwift when I was injured and obviously they, they knew that I wasn't training at that point. So when I eventually got back on there and started doing some rides, loads of people were popping up like, oh, amazing to see you back, good luck. We wish you the best with your comeback. So it means a lot as an athlete to kind of hear that you're doing well. This is our new dancing cactus. Bit of extra motivation, I guess. days out from Lucy's first race after 11 months so we're gonna do a track session it's quite exciting a little bit nervous but yeah it's good to be back. Swanee. Swanee? Yeah basically I'm your oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's done this before. This is actually my first running carbon shoes for well since February so these should actually feel really good. I might be leading the reps today. Reese is not happy about this. <laughs> so the biggest change we made last year was bringing in another coach. So I started working with Dan Larang. Up until that point, Reese had been my coach pretty much since we came into triathlon. Reese is there every day and can say, actually, Lucy, you know what? You look really tired today. You need to pull back. Or actually, you're looking really good today. You could probably push this a little bit. And last year, he invested so much of his own time into me leading into St. George and actually winning that world title wasn't just me winning it, it was the whole team around me. 324, okay. It's only 16 seconds quicker than it was meant to be, but 
it's race week, so you get carried away. I didn't really watch the Ironman World Championship. I didn't want to kind of put myself through it. I actually remember the only thing I could do at that point was swim. So I went and swam seven kilometers while the race happened and thought, that's the best thing I can do today to move my fitness forward. It actually makes me really happy to see Daniela back at her best. Like, I don't want to beat her in Kona and her not be at her best. Like, for me, it's been amazing to kind of watch her come back this year. And I just hope I can give her a great race in Kona. As a kid, obviously, in swimming, the Olympics is the biggest thing. So that was always, like, I remember being like 10, 11 in the pool, being like, I want to make the Olympics. And then, when I felt like I couldn't do that, that was when triathlon was like this kind of, like a second chance for me. Turning pro and thinking maybe I'll just be an average pro to actually kind of podium in it at the World Championships was like mind blowing at the time. And I think sometimes I definitely forget that. It's like, no, oh, I, I want to win. I want to win world titles, but actually I'm still quite new to this sport and in the beginning I never would have dreamt of doing that. I'm only doing this sport because I love it. There's no one here saying Lucy you've got to do this. I'm here because I want to do this. The younger version of me would be um, very proud. <laughs> At the beginning of the year when I got told that I had this injury I actually ruled Kona out. Now sat here at this point thinking training's been going really well actually being on the start line this year is a huge win in itself and I know I will go into that race and give it everything I've got and if it's not enough to win it's not enough and I have to remember the journey that I've been on this year.